Hello and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 1st of November for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now as ever I'm going to give the major strands of this week before diving deep into each of the zodiac signs so please stay with me. Of course this is a new month and it begins with the Sun in an electric opposition to Uranus. The Sun is in Scorpio which is a fixed sign, and so is Uranus in Taurus. So there's a polarity there. But Uranus is about change, and fixed signs is about continuity. So when it comes to shared resources, Scorpio, everyday money, Taurus, spending decisions, or close devotional relationships, alliances, where we're most invested, there could be the need to make some changes. But also this week we're seeing a new moon in Scorpio and because of the energy of Uranus it's a fine time to think outside the box and be more innovative in our approach. But if something is very rigid or we're resisting something in our lives, perhaps because we are a little bit fearful of change, then there could be a tension that builds up over the next three or four weeks of this new moon. But also at the very start of this week, Mercury and Jupiter continue to forge an awesome alliance. So if there is something you need to talk about around the business situation, that can be very helpful. Now, later in the week, there is some big action too, because Mercury dives deep into the sign of Scorpio on Friday. In fact, on Wednesday, it comes out of shadow really bring into the end the retrograde period in the sign of Libra. But once it goes into Scorpio, it's not so much what people are saying, it's what they really mean. And Mercury in Scorpio helps us to decipher what's not obvious. But also Venus moves on the same day into a long duration in the sign of Capricorn. Now ordinarily Venus takes around 28 days to pass through each zodiac sign. It's going to be in Capricorn through to the 6th of March. So this is a really extensive transit. Now Venus in Capricorn can make us think very seriously about our responsibilities in relationships. But it also suggests in a professional context that if we can build up alliances based on goodwill and diplomacy, that can be a very good thing to go for. But almost immediately at the end of this week, Mars and Saturn are in a rather chaffing right angle. So even if we are talking with some urgency about a financial or a relationship matter, Saturn in the sector of the future, in this particular situation, that could see us limited in some way around some of our choices, or that's how it can feel. So please stay with me for your deep dive video, but remember if you'd like to get your free daily horoscope fired to your device each morning, please see the subscription link beneath this video. Also, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. And if you want to get your year 22 personal forecast, if you order it now, you can get the rest of this year free, plus a character analysis and 30% off. Thank you so much. Hello Aquarius and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 1st of November. Now Jupiter, the planet of growth, going forwards in your sign now, along with Saturn, Jupiter from the 18th of October, forges a beautiful alliance to Mercury on Monday and Tuesday. Now Mercury has been going through a long journey through your ninth house due to a pre-shadow, a retrograde and an exit shadow. That shadow comes to an end this Wednesday and that's something in itself to celebrate. And if you have been waiting for a professional situation to gestate, maybe to do with a contract, good news is definitely coming. Because all the discussion and the open-mindedness and enthusiasm that you've been investing in a situation comes to a nice boiling point this week as Mercury moves into your 10th house, very much to do with connecting to influential people. But also there's a new moon in this area as well. This new moon forges a, a connection to your modern ruler of Uranus. 
balancing that classic work-life uh, balance uh, scenario is something that a lot of us have to grapple with these days. We have all this technology, we have all these uh, domestic devices to help us, but we often say we don't have much time. But if a professional situation requires you to really focus on it, then maybe that will see, see your personal time pinched even more. But if you're really, really uh, intent on achieving some key goals, the next four weeks gives you a wonderful platform to do so. But there is uh, a movement on Friday of Venus. And Venus moves into your 12th house and it's going to be there through till the 6th of March. If there is someone from your past where there is unresolved business, it doesn't mean to say that you're going to get back together. There is absolutely no certainty of a reunion. But because Venus connects to Pluto for the whole of December and for the early parts of next year too, this can bring some very deep feelings around past relationships much more into focus and it's possible that you will hear from someone from your past someone you may have thought didn't want to have anything more to do with you and that could give you a big decision to make about how you handle that situation so as i say this may not be a romantic relationship it may relate to somebody else but it would have been a relationship that had great meaning attached to it so a very sentimental time could lay ahead in terms of relationships, but also this can be a wonderful time for you to really hit the heights when it comes to your professional aims. It is the case that Mars is giving you extra confidence just now, and it is cramped just at the end of this week by the more restraining energies of Saturn in your sign. But I just think that means that don't rush any uh, approach that you have towards the summit of success will benefit more from tenacity and patience rather than trying to get the situation over the line in the blink of an eye. And because the energy of the new moon is going to be permeating through your situation for a month, you do have beyond this week another three weeks to make significant progress and find traction towards those highest hopes.